The Christmas story shows us how we must treat those who are unlike us, who have far less than us, who have lived with the devastating limits of war and national tragedy, those who risk everything to arrive on the beaches, who suffer want and poor housing in our own country, our own citizens. Little food, endless worry, health injustice, all over this, our country. There have been the volunteers who've been on my mind, welcoming and caring for refugees, arriving on the beaches so close to this cathedral. And those volunteers are extraordinary people, especially the crews of the RNLI. I saw them the other day, a few couple of days back. Just getting on with it. Five times as many shouts, call-outs, as they've ever had in the history of the Dover Lifeboat. And they do one thing, save life at sea. It's not politics, it's simply humanity. We've tried to shield ourselves from how limited each of us is. We've done that often by our limitless use of the natural world. These are actions which have brought the planet into trauma, which despite the initial and vital agreement at COP26, it is still unclear if we can heal. But at the heart of all these issues is not economics or politics, it is human sin. It's selfishness. It's our desire to be in control as a human race, not in God's control. We think we can save everything, even Christmas. <laughs> 